bubonic plague. Mentioning the bubonic plague, the whole world will immediately think of the, the Black Death in the 14th century. It was one of mankind's worst pandemics that killed more than 25 million people, including a third of Europe's population. This ultimately led to the use of quarantine as the primary public health measure. Bubonic plague is a potentially fatal infectious disease caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. Lung infections, vomiting of blood, and scattered black spots can also be experienced. Plague kills 30 to 90% of those infected without treatment within 10 days of bite exposure. But with intensive antibiotic treatment, the risk drops to 10%. The best way to prevent the spreading of bubonic plague is to avoid handling live or dead animals and use insect repellents containing D, among other precautions. Spanish flu or influenza. Influenza or flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by various strains of influenza viruses. There have been six significant influenza epidemics in history, with the most devastating being the 1918 to 1920 flu pandemic, known as the Great Influenza Epidemic, or the Spanish flu, caused by the H1N1 virus from birds. This pandemic resulted in around 50 million deaths, mostly young adults, and infected 500 million people during World War I. In 2009, a relatively mild flu outbreak caused approximately 300,000 deaths. Humans can contract different types of influenza viruses, but pandemics occur when a new strain is transmitted from animals like pigs, ducks, or chickens. Symptoms of the flu range from mild to severe and include fever, runny nose, sore throat, body aches, headache, coughing, watery red eyes, and fatigue. Currently, there is no vaccine to prevent influenza, so controlling efforts focus on non-pharmaceutical measures like quarantine, good personal hygiene, disinfectants, and limiting public gatherings. Smallpox, smallpox, a contagious viral infection caused by the variola virus, has been one of the most widespread causes of human death for centuries. Variola major and variola minor were the two types of smallpox virus, with variola major being the severe form. The disease was more common in children, but the risk seemed higher for those who came in contact with an infected person or contaminated objects. People who had smallpox usually had the following symptoms, fever, vomiting, skin rashes, fluid-filled bumps. While the first mention of smallpox dates back to the reign of the great Egyptian pharaoh Ramses 1156 BC, the outbreak in 18th century Europe was the deadliest, killing 30% of those infected, mostly babies. Those who survived had extensive body scars, and about a third were left blind. In the 20th century alone, the disease killed around 300 million people. Smallpox was last naturally endemic in 1977. Since then, the success of vaccination has eradicated disease globally. Cholera. Cholera is an acute intestinal infection caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholera. The illness is marked by profuse cramping, vomiting, and watery diarrhea, leading to rapid dehydration. If left untreated, the symptoms turn so severe that patients usually die within hours. Cholera spreads through contaminated food and water, often causing small outbreaks. However, these outbreaks quickly become a crisis if sanitation systems are disrupted. In the 21st century, the illness continues to affect approximately 2.9 million people per year, resulting in 95,000 deaths worldwide mostly in low- and middle-income countries due to poverty. The African continent, in particular, has been hit hard, with 40 million people living in cholera endemic areas at risk of frequent outbreaks. At the same time, more developed countries such as North America and Europe have had virtually no cholera for a century 
due to improved sanitation infrastructure and advances in personal hygiene. HIV AIDS, HIV or human immunodeficiency virus, which causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, remains one of the fatal diseases of the 21st century, killing tens of millions since 1981. There are currently 38.4 million people living with HIV AIDS worldwide, of which over 7 million come from Sub-Saharan Africa. For decades, the illness had no cure. But with awareness and the advent of antiretroviral treatment, the disease has become more manageable, with global HIV death rates dropping from 2.2 million to 1.6 million between 2005 and 2012. HIV can be transmitted through unprotected sexual contact, intravenous drug use, infected blood transfusion, shared use of injectors, from mother to child transmission during pregnancy, childbirth, and breastfeeding. The virus destroys a type of white blood cell essential to a functioning immune system. But as the virus gradually weakens the immunity, it causes symptoms making it harder for your body to resist infections and other diseases. Ebola Ebola is a rare and fatal disease caused by the Ebola filovirus. There are five types of Ebola virus, four of which are known to cause human disease. The bat is suspected to be the natural reservoir of the virus. Humans contract the disease through direct contact with vomit, infected body fluids, or contaminated objects such as needles and syringes. Symptoms usually begin between 2 and 21 days after infection and include fever, sore throat, severe headaches, diarrhea, vomiting, muscle pain and weakness, decreased liver and kidney, function, bleeding and bruising, both internally and externally. Several small outbreaks of Ebola have occurred in Africa since its discovery in 1976, but the incident between 2013 and 2016 was the deadliest. The episode began in Guinea and progressed to Sierra Leone and Liberia. Roughly 28,600 people got infected, and 11,325 died before the virus was contained and declared in 2016. Coronavirus Initially reported in Wuhan in late 2019, the coronavirus illness is caused by the novel SARS-CoV-2 virus. The disease quickly spread like wildfire, resulting in a pandemic. As of mid-October 2022, approximately 6.5 million people had died from the COVID-19 pandemic. People contract COVID 19 when they inhale virus-containing droplets, aerosols, and tiny airborne particles expelled by infected people while coughing, sneezing, or speaking. Symptoms typically appear 2 to 14 days after virus exposure, with most people tending to have mild to moderate symptoms such as fever, loss of smell, and tiredness. However, Severe symptoms may be seen in those with other health problems such as diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, etc. There is no standard cure for COVID-19, but there are many ways to manage it, including oxygen support, antivirals, and, most importantly, vaccines. Here's all we've researched about the deadliest diseases to explain to you. Thank you for watching so far. Please leave a comment sharing your thoughts on this topic. If you find our video interesting, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we release new videos. Additionally, you can also check out more videos on the topic of paradoxes here. Love you, and bye-bye.